1,854 feet on nice that shot. one. Nice shot. Two in a row. That was pretty close to dead nuts. Cool. See if we can do it again. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're switching it over to black powder, getting ready for the Quigley next year. I'm out here with a friend of the channel and we're shooting a couple of ladder tests. And what I want to do in this video is show you what these are. These are called bore wipers. And when I was starting to learn how to shoot black powder and researching it, there's a lot of reference to all the winning shooters are using these, but there's no good video on what it actually is or how to use it. So I figured I'd make this little video to help you out. So we just stick that in there. And right now, today, the temperature's pretty low. It's about 75 or so. So we're running a dry patch behind our bore wiper. And I've got this gel and rod. And you just put it in the chamber and you push it on through just like so. And you catch it in a tub right beneath the muzzle of your rifle. You see all that stuff that just come out of there? That was fouling. So let's send another round down range and see how we do. Got a headwind. Yep. Ding. <laughs> so we fired around drop our block so we eject our brass right and the bore wiper looks like this okay and what you got here what you got here is you have two felts these are just like little felt tubes and they ride on this nail looking thing which is made out of brass so you have to you have to treat this like a piece of fired brass when it's contaminated because the fouling will eat up this bore wiper too and on the back end is this plastic thing and in the middle of that is a big rubber o-ring that acts like a squeegee and pushes all the cleaning fluid out of the barrel because I take these and you put the brand new felts on there and then you just dunk it in some cleaning fluid and load it in a cartridge box like this and this way I could carry enough bore wipers to do a whole bunch of shooting and without having to stop all the time and make new wipers right so you take your wiper and you stick it right in the chamber of the rifle like so and right now I'm running a dry patch but if it was really hot out here you could run a damp patch behind your wiper as well and then I've got this Delrin rod um, and this has a pusher jag on it right here. Now there's other kinds of Delrin rods too that use a regular style pusher um, that you can buy from Midway or wherever. Um, I got this off of a guy on the Shiloh forum and I'm really liking this rod because it breaks down into three parts. And so it's very easy to, to put, uh, put away in my range tote. It fits in there, right, without having to carry around a 40 something inch long piece of plastic. But Sarah, we did one, so we'll show you again what happens. We seed our bullet. And I'm just, what this is doing is seeding the bullet into the lands of the rifling. I don't know why that turned off there. But put the rifle to full cock, side up, here we go. It. There's a ding. Ha ha! See, we'll get the hang of this sooner or later. Then we eject our fired piece of brass, grab our wiper, and repeat. And that, folks, is how you use a bore wiper. And it's very effective. This is this is the method that all of the big time winners seem to be using. So we're still shooting. And before we showed you the bu the buffalo bore wipers, which are these ones with the two-piece felt, 
but I've got another bore wiper here that I'm testing out too. And that's from a friend of mine on the Shiloh form and his is made out of Delrin so it won't corrode with black powder fouling and instead of the two felts it uses a two and a half inch patch. So let's send around down range and then wipe with that one and see how it works. Four hundred yarder. Ah, cock the hammer. That would help, All right? All right, there's a ding. So we take our fired brass out, and Eric's wiper works just like the buffalo wiper. You stick it in to the chamber right there it has a damp patch on it and today we're using dry patches because it's not it's not very hot out here and the humidity is not that low so we just push it in and push the whole mess through the barrel just like that you can kind of see that smoke coming out of there and right there you can see how much crud this bore wiper just pushed out of the barrel. All that black stuff is powder fouling. Um, and so to me, the patch type wipers seem to work pretty much just as good as the buffalo bore wipers. Because I've been shooting them both kind of all day long here. Um, I would worry a little bit about super high temperatures or super low humidity. The patch may not carry enough fluid on it. Um, but this barrel is hot right now. It's, it's almost too hot to grab and that wiper just worked fine. So really, in, I'm hard pressed to say that that wiper is not as good as the Buffalo wiper, to tell you the truth. I think it, it probably actually is as good as the Buffalo wiper, especially if you have a really, if you have a good quality lube that you're using, um, it should, everything should work out just fine in theory, right? Oh. Wow. That was really low on, on the target. Yeah. Super low. So barely on there. You made it swing. But it's a good hit. We shot it with that patch, and so let's do it again here real fast. So I ordered 50 of these from Eric, and I know what size I need them to be. We've also done some experimenting, Eric and I, on these pusher jags and uh, and the bore wipers themselves, kind of screwing around with different diameters to see if one would be better than another, um, maybe for different conditions or for just different bore size, you know, uh, seeing if a few thousandths diameter difference would make any difference at all in the way the bore wiper works. And to me, I can't really tell any difference. I think the biggest thing is it's just like I said, having that quality lube. And then also the solution that I'm, I'm running on the, all of my bore wipers is Impro 7. Um, and I know that sometimes guys use other solutions like they'll use ballastol cut with water and a little soap or they'll use a Napa cutting oil and water. Um, but to me, I've seen a lot of guys that do really well in the sport, you run an Impro 7. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel yet. I'm not smart enough to do that, but so far, so good on the wipers. Ah, oh, missed. Low right. Let go of that early. So there you have it. I think that these, right now, for what for the conditions I'm shooting in, are just as good as the Buffalo wipers. That's that's kind of my my call, my, my final call for right now. So we'll see you guys next time on the channel. Thanks for watching. There it is, 1338. This load's running pretty consistent.